So here we are in our little hallway, trying to finally finish this little job up. And this should be very nice. Home like stabbing defenseless people. If ever I knew a thief, stabbing defenseless people is high on their priority list. Well, taking stuff is high on their priority list, but you know, if they can stab somebody, I'm sure they, they won't turn their nose up at it. Alright, so I guess we can go rescue her silly silly billy billy bum. Not quite sure why I went with that, but okay. What about you? What do you got? Gotta be careful. Like I said, they start having special weapons, like killing edges, but I'm more worried about like lance reavers and stuff like that. Oh, we got more treasures up here. My oh my, said the spider to the fly. Again, not really sure what that has to do with anything. Oh, you, you got anything left here? You got two sleep shots left. Unless I fix your wagon for you. I can't quite fix his wagon. You can't quite reach. That's a shame. Alright, so how about you? Yours to soldier. Actually, let's just see. Anyone got anything special left? Well, he's got killer axes and iron axes. And he's semi-retarded looking. But other than that... Oh, there's an Armor Slayer. Who's got the Armor Slayer? Okay, we gotta be careful with him. Because... Oh, wait, no, Gilliam's not here. We don't gotta worry about it. Aww, I feel bad for Gilliam now. Uh... Does anyone have a, a lance by any chance they can throw? No, of course not. Why the hell would I get that lucky? The answer is, I won't. Just the way things are sometimes. Alright, so let's just put ourselves on a little lance of killingness, because hey, I like killing. I like jucks. He's got a chest key too, we'll have to use one of those. Save with some of our lock picks for uh, Mr. Cole Man. How's Amelia doing? She hasn't done a single thing because my guys keep murdering in ridiculous degrees. <laughs> I'm not quite sure if that's the way I meant to say that, but as they say in the land of Muckamuck, oh well. I know this isn't Makamak, but very... Oh, Nelly. What do you got? You got a short bow. Short bows give them special critical skills. However, I can be safe here for one round. Let's see if I can kill this guy so he'll stop trying to put people to sleep. Nice. Nice. Excellent, excellent work. Vanessa. She's just trying to show off, though, because she's worried about what's coming down the pipe for her. Well, she knows. Oh, you better believe she knows. Oh, you are a girl of silliness. Alright, so. He's going to attack us, of course. Why wouldn't he attack us? Good news is, it's not going to do a lot of damage. And it's going to miss anyway. See? Told you. Haha, <laughs> he's dead. More experience for the Nessa. A level up for the Nessa. Alright. That's awesome. And Alex is putting in his two cents about the awesomeness of Nessa. So good for him. I did not like to see reinforcements like that game. That's kind of kind of mean. Steel sword. We got swords. We got swords. So Kyle, murder. Ah, we'll just use a steel. Okay, or not? We'll use the killer then, I guess. Come on. Damn. Let's hope he'd stab him through the face, make the world a better place. But this is just okay. There we go. I mean, that's like what? How long is a lance? Like eight feet, probably. He put about six of it through that guy's face. I mean, if you're gonna do it, you may as well just do it ridiculi. Ridiculike, I should say. And Ross can use a little bit of experience. When is Ross experience? Hit points, my god. Listen to me and my talk ability just working in my favor here today. Alright, Ross. I only ask that you destroy this guy horribly. Now oh, this should do. Nice. Oh, and he dodges. He's dodging like a champion this map. He's been the man. Even though I just said that he always needs healing. But he doesn't, because he's been dodging. Contradictions? Yes. Insane? Yes. But ridiculous? Yeah, unfortunately. Oh well. You learn and live, and then you do your thing, and then you do the other thing. And there you have my opening statement, apparently. Man, she's almost out of weapon rye. That could be danger rye. Oh. Let's use his iron sword, just because. And you can also... Yeah, you can equip your killing edge. What the hell? I'm in the part of the game now where I'll start to get more of those special weapons, so it's not as important to delay their usage. Like it was before. I just wanted to keep them to, so I'd have something left in the tank for later. Alright. Alright. Uh, yeah, just my little Pegasus Knights. I probably should move... You know, I didn't even check if that archer moved. I could have got her killed there. Carelessness is going to cost me sometime soon. 
Nicely done, Joshua. Stabilate in the countryside. Getting a level up at the same time. Nice. Myrmidons. I still haven't said I'm going to do levels up. I think I should push them right to level 20 and try to get the maximum level up. This could be a problem. This could be a real problem. Oh, I got lucky. If he critical hit me either time, Ross was a goner. That's what I mean about being careless. It's going to cost me some time. Well, that's not going to cost me anything except great laughter. Because he's going to die. You know, Kyle isn't... Oh, I don't know. I guess we average it out. He's doing about the right amount, but... That's not how it works. I've already covered that ground for like 9 million times. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's just go back here and trade the door key to him. And now we can attack, just to see if we can weaken this guy up for fun. Nice. Nothing wrong with 12 experience. That's like an eighth of a way to a level up, essentially. And now let's kill this guy, put him to bed. Death bed. <laughs> Ooh, yes. An ocean seal. Cool. If I recall, that's for thieves or pirates, so, you know. I could theoretically level him up sometime soon. I gotta think that Ross is getting... Oh, he's only level four. God, he's not even close yet. But he could use some healing, so... And we, like I said, we'll take any chance to get her experience, so... Important stuff being done here. Alright, so we've done that. So what have we got coming up the gut here? we got an Iron Lance, a Steel Lance, and a Javelin. Get you just out of the way, shall we? And you don't have any vulnerabilities, of course. That would make life too damn simple. Let's put a uh, Javelin on you. And you, we're going to stick... A, you don't have a throwing thing, so you're just going to have to wait your turn. It's not going to matter in the long run. How about you? Are you actually ever going to come over here and try to attack me? Doesn't look like it. Of course, looks can be deceiving. We'll get her ready to go. And she's like, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. But it's not going to happen for a bit yet. That's fine. Big deal. You're going to get axed right in the horse neck. Oh, he didn't actually die. That's good. That's actually good. That means that the, they're just going to put two attacks on one of them. And uh, the other one will get to remain clean and clear. Like facial wash on a face that's full of grease and stuff. What do you mean? No, I'm not getting paid by the companies to mention these things to a targeted audience who's right around, you know, young male age for the most part. You guys are crazy. Stop talking crazy. All right. How about you go pick a lock for me there, Jambaloo? Excellent. Alright. Door. Come down here and let's have a little conversation. Oh, you know, hanging out. Playing to Nintendo. Again. <laughs> yeah. Of course he must be. And yet here I am helping you. <laughs> oh, Ephraim. You were trying so hard to be Valter. Well, no, you'll never be Valter, but you know. Oh, he understands how you feel. He wants you to feel it all the time. Again, doesn't make a lick of sense? Doesn't have to. Because I'm the one talking. You're not. Again, I'm not sure why that applies in any sort of conversation anywhere around the world here, but... You know. Alright, Amelia. So, okay, let's, let's do some massacring, shall we? Uh, that's not quite good enough. Loot, do some massacring. That's a massacre that I can get behind. Nice. Loot working hard. Making some copies. Alright. Friends, old boy. Let's do that, shall we? You can hurt that guy a wee bit. He can hurt you a wee bit. You know, Big Whoop, want to fight about it? Actually, yes, they do want to fight about it. Because it's a game centered around fighting. But you know... There's no, no more of those recruit guys coming in, right? Thunder... There's an Axe Reaver. I gotta remember, that guy's got an Axe Reaver. That could be a huge deal down the line. Now you're saying, why am I doing this? This is gonna leave him with one hit point. 
What possible reason would I have for doing that? Well, if Amelia's ever going to level up, she's going to need to have a gift like this. She misses, she's almost going to die. Don't screw this up, honey doll. Nice. That is the worst technique I've ever seen. For one kill, she gets 85 experience points. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call pathetic. Alright, so you can pretty much murder that guy however you please. So let's go ahead and murder him. God damn it, that stupid archer. How about you? Can you get after me? Not quite. Alright, fine. You can do this. I have faith in you, javelin girl. Get kills while you can, because Tana's here. Tana's on the scene. She can become a very powerful unit. She doesn't always necessarily become a very powerful unit, but she could. Oh, you don't have any throwing weapons. I gotta get him a throwing axe. I really like having a throwing axe on him. It just makes him so awesome. Anyway, actually, let's, let's be smart about this. That's right, nobody move, because you guys are going down. It looks like I could have broke her out with a, using the door key. Oh, 2,500 gold. Nice. That's definitely worth one lockpick. Alright, what do we got? Okay, I definitely can do that, because that guy's going to hurt me a whole lot if I attempt that. Okay, whoa, whoa. Everyone's kind of damaged here. I thought we'd be smart about this. Let's, uh, let's mend some broken bones, shall we? Let's put him in the sweet healing embrace of Lady Men's staff. Alright, level up. Now it's really hard, like I said, to get someone with a staff all the way to level 20 unless you abuse the tower. So I'll probably only push her to like the 12 to 15 range before I upgrade her. I know that won't make her the strongest thing to ever exist in the world of existing. But sometimes you just gotta make do with what you got. That's not gonna kill him. Are you kidding me? Alright, fine. We'll do this the old-fashioned way. We'll draw this jerk alert in. Maybe I should have used a pure water, because her resistance isn't uh, great. It's okay. But I've seen better things in my lifetime, that's for sure. Okay, Amelia, you're, you're done. You're not going to get any more kills. She really needs some serious time in the tower to get her set up. That's the, again, one of the most important parts of the tower. I keep saying, I keep beating into the ground, but it's true. Some people say it's cheap, other people say it's just smart fucking playing, and I'm on the smart effing playing ba bandwidth, honestly. But I'm gonna try to avoid, or minimize it anyway. Just because you guys are so kindly to asking about it. Oh, you missed. That's gonna hurt. Oh, you dodged one. Good for you. I guess, I wonder if she could. Is Amelia too far out of it? Yeah, I think she's too far away to get a kill now. After I just said there'd be no opportunities. Yeah, she's one short. Oh, well, Tana, how about you? Do you want to get a freebie? Let's see if she can get a kill. She has no weaponry. Of course she's not going to get a kill. Alright, fine. Can we trade you a spear? Alright, we can. He will, he'll probably want that back, though, just so you know there, Tana. Hit it. See, she's got more hit points than Vanessa, even though she's a lower level, and her stats are generally better, too. Plus, she's cooler. There's also that factor. Alright, let's just park our butt right there, and we're just gonna wait a minute. Okay, so, can you attack? No. You can attack. Okay. So, let's get you down. Yeah. And you over to. Yeah. Just on the off chance this person survives, we'll bring her along. I don't think it's gonna happen that way, but you never know. Actually, let's put, just for fun, let's put her in there, see if she'll get attacked. It could work out. Is anyone really hurt that I can actually access right now? Actually, I don't think anyone's that particularly hurt. Go figure. And Colton's gonna come bring up the rear, because, hey, thieves don't need to be on the front line. I know I'm forgetting somebody, but to hell with it. Good thing I totally, totally forgot he had an axe reaver. Not that it matters in this particular matchup, but it could have been really bad. So, normally an axe would be the weapon to use on him, but since he's got an axe reaver, I think a lance would technically be the, the best one. Well, ideally you'd want something that would actually, uh, what's the phrasing? You'd actually want a, uh, 
I would take that out. You would actually want something to be like a, like a Lance Reaver, maybe. Not a Lance Reaver, something else. Anyway, I've got Lance Reavers on the brain today. I'm just gonna just let that go now. It doesn't matter. We're gonna burn him to death inside his armor. Extra crispy, etc. Luda's highly enjoying this this level. She's gaining uh, ground like a like a pixie. Oh, she got an axe reaver. Like she totally needs one of those. All right. Even though you can't kill him, hit him anyway for the experience. This should be enough to get a level up. Like look at that. She got 30 dot experience for just hitting that archer. Speed and defense. All right. Uh, you can't quite pick up the freebie. How about you? How are you doing? You're oh, you can use a free level. I'm not gonna argue with a free level for you. Nice, cleaved in twain. Our pirate man's actually gained four levels this 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 map. Doing all right. You see, he's already turning into quite the little bruiser when he wants to be. Uh, you don't got anything special, right? He's got an armor slayer. Okay, that's no problem. So we're just going to put you right up here, with your Steel Lance, da. And Franz needs healing. Franz, unfortunately for me, he seems to be a little more delicate than he has been for me in past games. It's a shame, really. He's not only a dependable cornerstone of my army, but he's already at 12-12, and he's still taking a lot of damage. I don't know why I'm bothering to bring... I gotta bring Ephraim to claim the throne. That's why I was gonna say. He's of no use to me on this boss. Really. Alright, fine. That's how we're gonna play it. We'll just do it that way. Grants can go over there. Archer girl there. And Bob's your uncle. Now, I'm still worried there might be more coming out of that staircase. No, not one damage. No. Stop. Think of thy children. <laughs> Think of thy children. Man, oh man. Comedy never had defense. Very nice, Kyle. Kyle, see, Kyle's turning out more useful than he has for me in the past. You know what, Kyle? Since I'm just complaining I never do anything with this poor girl, we'll let her take a hit. All for the, the all for the joy of the, the upwards nipple stab she likes to use as her attack. 39 again. Nice, Amelia. And then we just shoot him full of holes. Naomi, she'll, she'll appreciate that luscious experience. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely a little under level with some of these guys. They're getting that much experience at this point. They need some more uh, work. All right, so Franz, this guy's got, see he's got two axes and neither of them are ranged axes. So we want to try to weaken him with three ranged attacks first. I'm not sure who has the best ranged attacks, so we'll have to figure that out as we go along here, but there's potential to be had. And throwing axes wouldn't be a bad way to do it. Unfortunately, Garcia doesn't have throwing axes, but he does have decent strength. However, I suspect we'll probably be going that route with it. Alright, and that should do. He's just sitting on his throne like, eh, whatever. Garcia, you can go guard that staircase. You, my friend, are gonna park right there. You are gonna park right there. You can get the hell out of my way. You actually are no use to me either. So how about we get you over here with Colm and you guys can just rest beside one another, gaining some valuable time with one another for towards that little bonus uh, support conversations. All right, we've got most of the big players there now. I'll keep him there, and we'll go over here. Get our healer close enough that if we need to, actually, who needs healing? You know what? Just, just in case, just in case for fun and giggles, and what's the other thing that giggles and thing you do? Not sure. Lost my train of thought. So where was I? Oh yeah, killing Geb. I can't remember if he's that tough, but he is like a top class. He's a warrior, right? Yeah. Like, let's look at his stats. 13 defense, 5 resistance. He's not that bad. He's a little slow, which is good. But he's a tough old bastard. 45 hit points. That's that's nothing to sneeze at, you know? Like, see, that? only 6 damage from that. That's kind of crazy, truth be told. 2 from a hatchet. I mean, this this could be this could be a challenge. This is probably the right person to go after him in here, but 
even then, as you see, we're only going to be doing a maximum of 24 damage. That's if we get two criticals. And if he hits us, we could be in serious, serious trouble. However, let's just get started here. Hopefully we can hit him with a bunch of this. <laughs> He's shooting fire at you, hopefully hitting you. Good. By the way, warriors have a really badass sprite. Look at that thing. Yeah, I'll definitely be using a warrior first chance I get. Okay, I don't want to waste that. And you don't have anything to help with this, right? Actually, he does have something to help with this. Item... Wait. Supply. Wait, no, 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 no. Who has it? Someone has an Axe Reaver. Who has the Axe Reaver? Because if I gave him an Axe Reaver, he'd be able to really handle that boss easily. Loot's got it. Okay, I've kind of, kind of boned up the pooch just a bit here, but, uh... Them's the brakes, I suppose. That's okay if I've gone a turn early. Hopefully he won't pull out his killer axe. And that's, since we're doing this, let's get rid of that silver sword. Now, the thing to remember is that, uh... You get the one that's flashing green, but whatever he has equipped will not be flashing green. So hopefully he won't switch to his killer axe for no good reason here. And just kind of, you know, leave it alone for a moment. The other problem is he might actually move out of there. But you know what? If he does that, then I deserve everything I'm getting. Oh, well. Oh, and he's going to get healed. I mean, that's the other thing about the throne. But you knew that already. Still got the iron axe on. Good boy. Let's hit him again. Burn him to the ground. Nice, she hit him again. That's enough for a level up. Sweet. That's what you like to see, more luck. Because everyone needs luck. So just give an example of why he should be the head-on guy. Look at that. At least it's accurate now. And he's not too lucky to get hit. So... Let's hit him for one damage, if we can hit him at all. Alright, we hit him for one. Thank God. Get a lot of free experience for it. Now, I could chip him like this, I suppose. I could just chip him down little by little, but... Oh, by the way, we're going to trade this back to, uh, to him. See, he can't even do damage, because he's just, he just hasn't got a good strength gains going this game. It's disappointing, honestly. Hmm. How about you? What do you got? You got anything good? Let's see. Can you do any damage? You are pretty strong, but, well, we could try that, but the hit's pretty low, and he's likely to take damage. I know what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Let's be smart about this for once. Hit him once. Missed me good. Excellent. And now, we just go in here and we go, I've got ya. And then we can come in with, uh... Can you actually reach him and heal? Not technically. Okay. We'll wait another turn. What the hell? We aren't just kind of plinking him down here, but there's worse things to do in this world. Alright, so now that we've done that, she keeps hitting him too. It's really nice how she's doing that. And we'll park you right there. And you want to take another shot for one hit? <laughs> one hit point? Oh, uh, we finally missed with one of those attempts. That's okay though. It doesn't cost us anything, and it's a free experience for missing. So not quite enough to take him down just yet. So we'll wait one more turn and then we'll run this proper lie. I said I didn't move the healer again. God, I'm dumb. All right, fine. Let's do it this way then. We'll move her. My God. The lack of a brain I'm exhibiting today, just a scatterbrain today, not thinking. See, now she can heal if she needs to up there, absolutely. All right. Take one more crack at this guy. See if you can... Nice. One more? Can you get another one? Well, she, you can hit him. That's the main thing. And now we send Kyle back in on rescue. Alright, let's, let's see if Garcia can do anything to this guy. I doubt it. Well, you know what, Garcia? We'll give you a crack. If you can kill him, good on you. Oh, Garcia coming through in the clutch. That... That's not possible! Okay there, Luke Skywalker. Jeez. And he gets full hundred for that, because that guy is such a high level. 
Nice. Oh, he got resistance. It's a party day. It's a banner day at the Garcia household. And he gets a killer axe. Even better. Can he use that? Oh, he can. Let's seize this throne and get the hell out of Dodge, shall we? Nice. I like how the guy still has his spear, incidentally. Okay. <laughs> yep. Of course. Is that so? Huh. Yeah, according to rumors... Well, 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 the plot thickens. That's ridiculous! Oh, I'm sure he wouldn't. Yeah. I've understood. Then you'll have to kill them. Yep, it seems like everything's gonna work out for the fine here. We know DeSalle's really displeased, but Lion didn't seem to say a whole lot to say when his father, Vigard, was kind of giving him the, the uh, repeated orders. Yep. <laughs> He's directly attacking a country with a small band of people. That's throwing yourself directly into the fire. Very nice. Aww. That's a shame. Oh no. Huh. Uh, gross. Gross. Sweet. Oh, back to the keep. I wonder what's afoot now amongst the, uh... Ah, Selena, the Fleur Spar. Mm-hmm. I've understood. Ho ho ho! That's just not everyone's Luke Skywalker today, dear God. Yeah, Dussel was saying stuff like that. Really? You want to go that way? You will execute him. Nice. <laughs> yes, ask a question. The last person who did is about to be executed by you. Shield, not the blade. See, that's interesting. Oh, well, you know, easy joke. I'm not even going there. Huh. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think she's going to turn out to be really useful to us. She seems a little too duty-bound. Anyway, speaking of duty-bound, it is our duty to continue on tomorrow as Prince Aphra, moving ever forward and getting ourselves into great position to strike at Grado itself.